have a couple of quick show and tells today. Um, I thought that I probably should show you that I did actually make something out of the, um, you know, egg blowing fiasco. It actually produced nicely. And this is what I had in mind when I started blowing those eggs. I wanted to doodle on some, but I wanted to be able to keep them. Cause, you know, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Because that takes some effort. And uh, I want to be able to keep them and reuse them. So that's why I blew the eggs instead of just using boiled ones. But they came out good, I think. And I, um, I always kind of spackle the holes because um, I'm just kind of weird that way. I think I used caulk. I'm trying to remember what I had out. Yeah, I used some caulk, some cheap, you know, in the little squeezy tube, like caulk that I would never actually use in my house. I don't even know why I had it. Probably to use as glue. But it was just white caulk that I used to seal up the little holes, and which worked okay. It didn't have to be perfect. I just didn't want a big gaping hole there. And then I doodled on them. Some of them I used Sharpies, and some of them I used... Uh, pit pens, Faber-Castell pit pens. I decided I like the pit pen better. It is blacker and you, I don't I don't know how well you'll be able to see. This was done with a Sharpie. This was done with a pit pen. And yeah, you probably can't really see the difference at all. But the Sharpie one has kind of a purple look to it because you know black black has all kinds of colors in it. And it um if you look real close, it's got it's kind of purplish, whereas the pit pen is just black. It is just a real good, solid, true black. So um, I decided I liked the pit pen better after I'd done, you know, several of them with the Sharpie. But anyway, I just doodled. I had to go kind of slow because even using the Sharpie, which dries really fast and is permanent, it um, doesn't dry quite so fast on eggshell, and you can you can see on several of them I've got some thumbprints and some <coughs> sorry some smudges where I was handling it and it wasn't quite dry. But you know, overall I think they came out okay. Um, I like them. I, the white is just a white paint pen. That's all that was. Um, and I used it a couple other places too because it was like white out and I fixed some mistakes with it. So yeah, it's all good. So anyway, that's, um, that was the reason for blowing all those eggs and um, I'm just going to put them in an egg carton that I saved and I'll have them for next year if I want to use them. Um, let's see, I went to the thrift store yesterday. Just, I had some time and I just ran in to um, kind of look around and this is one in my neighborhood that I go to. It's, it's um, If you're in the Houston area, it's the Northwest Assistance Ministry store. They have several, but this is the one on Jones Road at Fallbrook. And it's just a small thrift store, but really, really cheap. And I almost always find something in there, especially back in where their books are. I like looking through their books. And um, these I found on the magazine rack. And I know that says 50 cents, but I didn't buy it at half price books. I bought it at the thrift store. So it was 25 cents. <coughs> Excuse me. Because um, all of their magazines are 25 cents each. So I got, you know what? I don't even think she charged me for this. Because it didn't have a price on it. And then she looked at it and then just kind of tossed it in my bag. But this is a little blue book. And you can find these. Oh, they're on, you can find them on eBay. They were published, most of them around the 1920s. And they're just little, small, inexpensive. They were like 10 cent books. I think it was 10 cents. I don't remember. But anyway, it was the, the publisher started doing these as a way to get literature into the hands of everybody, you know, not just those who could afford the nice leather-bound books that they had at that time. 
so they were just inexpensive little small pieces of literature and um, you can find them all over the place they're usually about a dollar each um, but they're good you know this is good um, journal fodder or collage stuff and I like the Willie Mitchell and you can see very obviously he used a um, fountain pen to write his name he wrote it everywhere he was uh, really into tagging he was a tagger before tagging was cool I wonder if Willie knows that okay uh, these were uh, in a stack there at the thrift store it's a magazine from the late 60s early 70s oh look 80s gosh oh and they left their uh, South Dakota hmm okay anyway Civil War Times Illustrated and I really don't know what it is I don't really care because you know I'm not gonna read it but I like the pictures look at the cool pictures and you know and they look old and stuff so this is going to be great to put in some of my journals the illustrations and even just the text is good because it's got those some of those you know ads looking things <clears throat> so these are fun and for you know a quarter each yeah because oh look how fun is that oh I just want to color that in oh gosh that really just makes me want to pull out my colored pencils and color it in I love coloring okay so there we have it these I really liked if this had been all I bought I would have been happy because these are fun so um, keep your eye out for Civil War Times Illustrated because you know it was uh, evidently pretty popular in South Dakota at one time this one is just a Wall Street Journal magazine and I don't remember I flipped through and saw something I liked and I don't remember what it was but that was the whole reason that I got it and you know it was a quarter and it's a magazine and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that I could cut out and use but what was it that I saw well anyway just trust me there was something eye-catching in here that made me want to pay a quarter for it so there that was plus it's a cool size you know it's kind of um, one of those big square kind of magazines this one I think she charged me 75 cents for this I would have paid five dollars but you know I didn't really let her know that because uh, you know I wanted to respect her wishes to charge me 75 cents but it's just a big old book about um, MGM's films that they've made and I bought it because it's just full of awesome illustrations the ones some in color in the back and then black and white but there's just tons of pictures from MGM films I'm gonna cough again <coughs> sorry excuse me um, but I love I love you know the black and white pictures look <laughs> yeah these are great so this was uh, this was well worth my 75 cents and that was it for the thrift store see not much um, I'm also working on a new um, day book smash book daily journal junk journal I don't know whatever you want to call it and it's one of the ones that it's similar to the ones I've been making for the um, craft show thing that I'll be selling or trying to sell and I pulled this one out because it wasn't quite as sturdy I didn't um, this was one of the first ones I made and then didn't realize that I really need to reinforce the edges and all that so I kept it for myself and it's just one of my usual junk journals you know the pages are folded in half and then I run it through my <coughs> sewing machine I never can find the middle but, okay let me look this way here it is ha -ha. and then I just run a couple of straight stitches right next to each other cover and all through the sewing machine and that's all there is to binding it and this one has some other sewn I did some other little stitching you know made little pockets here and there and then just attached pages by sewing 
um, and I was just playing with some of the stitches on my machine. And then the rest of them are glued. And there's a few fold outs and pockets and things. But I started, um, and I just put random things in there. And I don't know, I guess in a day book you're supposed to do a daily thing and go in order. I don't really do that because, you know, some days I don't do anything. I don't generate anything to go in here. And then other days, I generate way too much for just one page. So, I don't know the rules, but even if I did, I'd probably break them anyway. So, I just put whatever. Um, like this was Jason. I had to pick him up at the airport, so I stuck that there. And then a week earlier, we'd eaten at a, a Chinese food place at um, Annie Chang's Dumpling House here in Houston, which is awesome. And I had stuck our fortune cookie thingies in the bottom of my purse. So I stuck them there. And then this morning I peeled two stickers off some bananas. So, you know, it doesn't really, it's not like an order, but um, it makes me happy to be not orderly all the time. So, yeah, it's good. And see, I've still got a pocket there I can use. And last weekend we had some friends in town staying with us for the Color Me Rad run that they ran, I volunteered at. So I put all the information about the race there. This was very fun. We had a great time. And while they were here, we went to Ikea. And I finally got my um, Raskog, I know I'm saying that wrong, but that little turquoise cart, the metal with the three bins. I've been waiting for a year for that thing. And my store was always sold out. They had the gray one. I didn't want the gray one. I wanted the turquoise one. Apparently, so did everyone else. Anyway, I finally got it, and I'm happy, and it's just sitting there empty because I don't know what I need it for, but I have no doubt that I need it desperately. Um, and then we went to Garden Ridge, did some other things. So I just made a few little notes and stuck, you know, I'm all about just stick my receipt in there. Um, took some pictures. I had 11 people in my house for the weekend. It was cozy, but it was fun. It was, you know... I, I just don't mind having people over because I don't fuss over them. I make sure they have a place to sleep. I make sure they have towels for the shower. Other than that, we kind of wing it. We eat whatever. We do whatever. And it always ends up fun. So I stuck a few pictures in. Um, and just that's some more stuff from the race. We colored eggs on Easter. Um, oh, yesterday I joined a gym. It was sort of an impulse purchase, you know. It's like the candy bar at the in the checkout line at the grocery store and joining a gym. Yeah, same thing, right? Uh huh. Well, anyway, I need to I need to drop some poundage, and I wasn't happy with the thought of dieting, which I know I need to do anyway. But you know, baby steps. So I looked into those Jenny Craig and Nutrisystem, you know, those food things and decided they were way too expensive when I could join, I forget the name of the gym that I joined, <laughs> what is this? Planet Fitness. <laughs> I can join Planet Fitness for practically next to nothing. So that's their little schedule when you can meet with the trainer. So I stuck that in there. So yeah, that's my day book so far. And then I have all these other junky pages just waiting for me to fill them with exciting um, grocery store receipts and um, stickers from bananas, you know, because that's the thrilling life I lead. Okay, that's it for now. Um, I'll think of something else later, I'm sure. Bye.